Since 1986, Don E. Hardy Holly has been providing not only psychotherapy and hypnosis, but also training to hundreds of people from all over the United States. Most notably known for his extensive work with using medical hypnoanalysis, Don is sought out as one of the top trainers in the country for this modality. He has served as president and chairman of the board on the American Academy of Medical Hypnoanalysis. Don is here today to explain hypnoanalysis and how it differs from the more familiar hypnotherapy. Hello, I'd like to explain simply the difference in hypnotherapy and hypnoanalysis. I'm borrowing a drawing from the Concept Therapy Institute in San Antonio, Texas. This circle represents the head of a person, and here's the body down here. We divide the head into two parts, just to explain. This is the conscious mind up at the top and the subconscious mind at the bottom. Nothing gets done unless it gets into the subconscious mind. So we want to deal mostly with the subconscious mind. Now when you have two people, you have this other person over here who has also a conscious and subconscious mind. And when they have a rapport with each other, let's draw a circle around them to represent that they have a rapport. We call that a composite personality, by the way. This person has an idea in the conscious mind and is communicating conscious to conscious using speech, gestures, writing, and drawing. And this person, of course, is using the reasoning mind because there might be something said that doesn't make sense. In that case, it will go in one ear and out the other. Or they say, well, maybe I'll just think about it later, and they put it on a shelf up here and think about it later. But hopefully they'll accept the idea, and the idea will go into the subconscious mind. And that way it will affect the person in usually a positive way because hopefully this person would give them only positive ideas. Now the same idea also, interestingly enough, is communicated con subconscious to subconscious. And that's done by all kinds of ways, but the best way to explain that is that if you go to a friend's or relative's house or apartment, you knock on the door, maybe you just go right in, and they say all the right things for you to come in and stay a while, but somehow you kind of know, ah, I shouldn't be here, so you leave sooner rather than later. We call that double messages. Now, this is normal communication. It goes on all day long. The only difference in this and hypnosis is that with hypnosis, we do our best to bypass the conscious mind and drop the ideas into the subconscious. We do that by getting this person not to think so much. This is called hypnotherapy when we just drop the ideas in there. Well, that can be very helpful. However, if there are negative ideas, negative experiences down in here, these ideas may overcome the positive after a while. So the, what, the way we handle that is we help the person to go down in there look at those negative things and change them to positive or neutralize them. That way, the positive that we give this person will be permanent. This is called hypnoanalysis. So that's basically the difference in hypnotherapy and hypnoanalysis.